Hey guys! Um, I kind of wanted to start off this video by being real with you guys today. Um, I've had a weird day today. <laughs> I guess I guess I'd call it a bad day, but it it was more just like a midday. I just I just could not get out of bed today, and it's just I don't know. I wanted I I kind of wanted to put this out there because I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. But this is my first day back from vacation, so, um, and because I didn't know exactly when I would be getting back, I decided to, uh, take Thursday off and only be working on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I was really excited because I got home early enough that I'd just have Thursday off. And I was really, really excited because I thought I was going to get so much done. I was going to record too many Santa's videos, I was going to go grocery shopping, do laundry, like all of this stuff, and I just, I didn't do any of it, <laughs> like, I, I just, I was in a funk all day, I got up and I let my dog outside, and then I went, I ordered food so I could eat, cause I need to go grocery shopping, I don't have any food here, and I ate for like an hour and a half and I watched videos for like two hours because I like to watch videos when I eat and like and by the time that was over I just was like I don't feel like getting out of bed so then I like laid in bed and watched TikTok for like an oddly long amount of time like it doesn't I really don't know how time passed that quickly. And every time I saw the next hour tick by, I just kind of felt like, you should stop, you should go do something. But that overwhelming guilt of the more time you're spending on TikTok, the less time you have to get stuff done, just kind of, just kind of, just overwhelmed me the more the more time I was spending on TikTok the more I couldn't get off of it because I just felt so guilty that I had spent so much time on TikTok and like I finally finally was able to like get up and take a shower which is why my hair is wet and I'm really trying to keep the momentum going which is why I'm recording this video and I also also why I'm recording this video is I don't know I just wanted to share this like not really necessarily to get sympathy, but just to talk about it, to get it out there, to kind of put into words what I'm feeling, and also, like, so that other people know, if they see this, that, uh, they're not the only one that has days like this. And the thing is, like, days like this are gonna happen. And it really sucks, but ultimately, what I've been learning right now about OCD specifically is that you have to acknowledge the thought. It's about the idea of trying to avoid the obsession, the thought that is causing you to feel some sort of way, makes that pop up more frequently and become more severe. So I'm just trying to observe this day as a day that happened, not look back on it with guilt or with remorse. I'm just going to notice it as something that happened and move on. And even saying that out loud, I kind of just feel like a bird and lifted off of me. Like I feel more energy coming back into me. And like, I feel like that's even visible, but like, um, but yeah, I'm excited to do another video of this game. I know the last one was really long and took a really long time, but maybe I'll have this out by like tomorrow or something, which would be crazy. Uh, today we're gonna do Sleepy Santa, which I feels like fits with my day-to-day. -day. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Alright, and I haven't played through any of Sleepy Santa. I've only done the first three here, so I'm excited to see what happens. He seems like an odd one to interact with. I have no idea what his storyline's gonna be. I have no idea how I'm gonna fall in love with him, because... That's the theme of this game, just a reminder, this is- she also wished for romance, and like... Well, I wouldn't want to date a Santa, that doesn't mean that you viewers don't want to, so... Maybe this is fun. <laughs> it is fun. It is a very cleverly written- what? This is a very cleverly written game. I'll definitely give it that. Um... 
Oh, he's sleeping. That makes sense. A thousand. I mean, that is a pretty big nutcracker. Kind of feels like I'm underselling it. Am I supposed to click? Oh, do I click to wake him up? I'm gonna click his nose. Sleepy Santa? Can I... Can I talk to you for a moment? God! Yeah, what is it? <sighs> Dang, I'm gonna be yawning this whole time! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be hard. Whoa! I, we just started! This is chapter one! I, okay, okay, let's... Let's do this, okay. I don't want to make things awkward between us, but... I think I'm in love with you. Huh? You, you are? <sighs> oh yes. Naps have always been a huge turn on for me. A sleepy Santa is like... Like something out of my wildest dreams. I do like me some good naps. I do like me some good naps. Um... Are you making fun of me or something? Sassy Santa, is that you? <sighs> well, I did just fall in love with Sassy Santa in the last timeline, but no, this is me. I'm OCD. I make you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> no way. This pathway is already too weird for me. I am out. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Bye, Sassy. Santa. Do you know what my favorite fairy tale was when I was a kid? The, um, one with the wishing star? <sighs> That's all of them, Sleepy. No, it was Sleeping Beauty. The idea, the idea of sleeping for years at a time is just so, so wonderful. I wish I could do it for real. Oh, same. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is helping my depression today, or if this is just, it's so relatable that I'm feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> of course! If I remember correctly, I got you that book for Christmas. No way! Yes, it's an extra special memory because it comes from you. And of course I knew that when I received it, but that's not all. Do you remember which version of the story you gave me? One of the older ones, right? Not the happy cartoon version where Prince Charming saves the princess run right away. Wow, I can get into yawning so quickly. Can I add that as like a special skill on my resume? Is yawning a special skill? Because I am skilled in that speciality. That's right. It's the one where the evil fairy holds him captive for years. When he comes out of her dungeon, his beard is absolutely massive. Like mine? <sighs> like you, Santa. My prince charming was an old man with a beard. Like you. And that's not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. This is, this is supposed to be the part where he pledges his undying love for me. Why isn't he doing that? Come on, give it the time, Sleepy. Come on. Well, I'm glad to hear I made a, I, I made such a positive impact on your life. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business to attend to. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Oh, I don't like either of these. Kind of just put it to rest. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Let me go with you. Sure. Either way, it kind of feels untrusting. Let me go with you, Sleepy Santa. I'm sorry, but this is um private business I have to take care of. Um. Ah. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom. Oof. Seriously? What's so important that you're going to leave in the middle of our heartfelt conversation? I, uh, I'm about to fall asleep. Haven't you noticed with all of the yawning? The obsessive yawning? I just can't stop. Oh, am I boring you? I'm so sorry, my deeply held feelings that I've 
I've repressed for most of my life aren't interesting to you. You just met this guy a few seconds ago. Calm down, me. I know. And trust me, I care a lot. <sighs> oh, so much about what you have to say. But I really need a nap. Santa was up late last night. And I know exactly why you were up late. Was it Christmas last night? Why is everyone buying Christmas presents still? Obviously a Christmas movie marathon. He is not a prankster. You were watching a Christmas movie marathon. Ho ho ho! Close! The television networks were airing Christmas fireplace videos on repeat. Oh, I couldn't resist. I'm trying to get that enunciation in there still. Although I was told that I enunciate too much when I'm doing like voice recordings, which makes sense because of my theater background, but how do you get that out of you? And how do you, what if you enunciate too little afterwards? And now I'm just thinking about enunciation so much that I just feel like everything I say is weird. Anyways. Me neither. See, we have so much in common, Sleepy Santa. <sighs> it's always nice to share common interest with your friends. Hint, hint. <sighs> ah, dang. Oh, I might just fall asleep after this one. F friends? Yes, we're friends, aren't we, OCD? How could he say that? Didn't he know I want to be more than friends? I thought I was being pretty direct about that. Oh, you were being direct. I guess I think I'm in love with you must be a bit too subtle if you didn't pick up on it. Yeah, yeah, Santa. We're friends. Great! Now if you'll excuse me, I really do need to take that nap. Bye. Aren't you supposed to be helping me with my store? Isn't that like half of the reason you're here? Good, Goodbye, Santa. This is off to a weird start. He left for the employees only room where he already had a bed set up. Along the way, he grabbed a teddy bear off the shelf and held it tight. Oh, I wish he would hold me that close to him. Oh. <laughs> okay. I closed my eyes and sighed. If I breathed deeply, I could almost pretend I was taking in sleepy Santa's dreamy scent. Almost. Okay. This is just, this is just a weird game. <laughs> like, it's so, like, don't get me wrong, it's so cleverly written, but, like, it makes it so hard to take seriously. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be taken seriously or if it's supposed to be weird that I'll falling in love with Santa. Uh, I watched Sleepy Santa as he walked away. His beard swayed slightly, hypnotically. I was left spellbound. I love the music. Is this gonna be like a dream sequence? Like Nutcracker or something? Intellectually, I knew that I didn't like facial hair. Mustaches? Nah. Goatees? No tees. Sideburns? Gotta burn those off if you wanna date me. I'm picky. But sleepy Santa. His beard was perfect. Mesmerizing. It wasn't just swaying, it was bouncing. How could those brown curls bounce so perfectly? I wanted to... I wanted to run my fingers through them. I wanted to rub my face against that magnificent beard. To feel the hair against my skin and imagine, just for the moment, that the beard belonged to me. I feel like I should make this whole series PG-13. Just some weird visual images in these descriptions. I can deny it. I was obsessed. I am OCD, after all. It's in the name. Without even thinking about it, I pulled out a... P oh gosh. I pulled out a pair of scissors and walked closer to that heavenly beard. Oh my gosh. Huh? 
Ah, oh, you scared me. <laughs> I quickly ducked out of the way. Sleepy Santa had caught me about to trim off a piece of his beard. How embarrassing. Oh, this whole storyline is embarrassing. Oh my gosh. I still wanted him though. I wanted to be with him. More than any person I ever wanted before, I would do anything to make that happen. Oh, what am I saying? I swear, I'm not usually like this. I've heard of other people falling madly in love, but I never thought it would happen to me. I blame that beard. Is this some sort of curse? Am I under some sort of star curse? I shook my head. I needed to get a grip. I needed to... to... Oh, gosh, I needed to kiss Sleepy Santa! What is going on? Is this a dream? Is that gonna be the whole joke? This whole thing is... Ah, oh, my old love. Sassy, how you doing? OCD. You're drooling? Are you okay? Eep! Eep! I'm a mouse now! Uh... Um... Telling the truth is good. I like telling the truth. I think I'm in love with Sleepy Santa. <laughs> Whatever, we have bigger problems to deal with right now. Wow, I just tried to pour out my heart to you and you didn't even make fun of it. I, need, I needed some criticism. Aren't you the guy to come to for that? I feel hurt. Excuse me. Your friend Ashley Krampish is here. Wait, what? What the bleep? Okay, so I might have said a word that would land me on Santi- on Santi's naughty list. Ashley Krampish is not my friend. She's my worst enemy. She opened a video game store across the mall, and since then it's like nobody wants my toys anymore. I better get rid of her. Quickly. Let's kill her off. Oh, she's pretty. Get rid of me? Is that any way to talk about a colleague? Ugh. Hello, Krampish. Looks like your store has no customers, as usual. Funny, there are lots of people buying my video games. <laughs> then what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off trying to sell those $600 systems that'll break right away and uh, just be obsolete in a year anyway? True facts. I heard you hired a bunch of weirdos to dress up like Santa Claus as a last minute desperation move to save yourself from bankruptcy. I thought I'd come here and um, check it out. Hey, don't talk about my new employees that way. They are actually Santa. They don't just dress up like Santa. Seriously, where did you even find these people? The dump? That one Santa is crying, the other guy is staring at himself in the mirror, and the last guy is trying to hide behind a jack-in-the-box. They are not going to get new customers. And what will get new customers? Selling your store to me, of course. I'll pay full price for this location and throw in enough cash to cover half your debts. What do you say? Cover full debts or no deal, Blondie. Yeah! I want all my debts paid. Pay all my debts and you've got a deal. Uh, no deal. Half price or nothing. And it's nothing. Aha! <laughs> Bad choice, OCD. I'm friends with the mall manager. I know you're getting behind on your payments. He should be telling that to people. That seems like a violation of some sort of code. I'm going to sell enough toys this Christmas to make up the difference. Not if you're paying extra money for all these crappy cosplayers. Joke's on you! They came free from a witch I made on a Christmas star! Take that, Krampish! Hey, it's not my fault I'm wearing this cheap suit! Are we getting paid? That's a good question. I really hope not. Seriously, your store has no customers. You are going to fail and lose to me. Just like you always do. Oh, her hair's so pretty. I won't fail this time. 
I bet you 50 bucks that I'll keep this store going into the new year. Normally, I'd take that bet. But I know you're so broke, you can't afford to pay up. So how about this? I'll just take your store as payment. <laughs> Why do you want my store if you think it's gonna fail so badly anyways? That just seems like a bad business deal. What have I gotten myself into? Ah, <sighs> OCD. You get me into the worst situations. Oh, I need to fill up my dog's water bowl. I'll have to do that after I'm done with this. That Ashley Krampich is such a jerk. Trying to ruin Christmas for everyone. I mean, I'm used to her insulting me, but the Santas? How could she insult them? They're all wonderful in their own quirky ways. Sigh. Especially sleepy Santa. Gosh, his tantalizing flesh is amazing. You may not like it, but this is what physical perfection looks like. Okay. Sadly, he doesn't seem to have fallen in love with me. Yet. I'll have to find a way to get his attention. Yeah, this is rated PG-13 officially. Hello? Nah, that's weird. I should try doing something more subtle, like publicly declaring my love for him over the mall intercom after buying us matching OCD and sleepy Christmas sweaters. That's the way to go! <laughs> Sleepy Santa! What? I have something important to say. I love... I love... Oh. <sighs> oh. I love you. And I'm saying this in a convincing voice. And I want to marry you. But mostly, I want to rub your beard all over every part of my body. Will you let me, please? <sighs> oh no, he fell asleep. What should I do? <gasps> oh, let him sleep! Let's let him sleep! I should disturb him. That'd be rude. Yeah, that'd be really rude. Very rude. That's why we're not doing it. I decided to ignore Sleepy Santa for now. I'd have to think of a different way to win his love. What if I sang a love song for him at the mall's talent show? Oh my gosh, perfect! I mean, I don't know if the mall has a talent show or not, but if it does, I'm totally writing a song for him. Something like, uh, Sleepy Santa, I want to, uh, something, something in love. Yeah. Hm, needs work. It needs more, yeah. It needs more, yeah! A red po- Oh, it's like a poinsettia tree. I've, I learned the story behind that on Christmas. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, it's, it's unusual, but it's really pretty, actually. I spent the rest of the day trying to think of ways to get Sleepy Santa's attention. What if I held a make out with your boss day? That wouldn't be against any HR rules, or what if I brought him sleeping pills? He'd probably like those, and that's not against any HR rules either or just general rules. I skipped dinner that night and went straight to bed. That way I could dream of him as quickly as possible. It only seemed appropriate to dream of my sleepy boy. My sleepy boy. I dreamed. I dreamt. Isn't it dreamt? Or is it dreamed? Whatever. We went on a sleigh ride all over the world, delivering presents. And best of all, the presents were purchased from my store. I fell in love and made a huge profit at the same time. My Christmas wish come true. This is the best Christmas ever. But sleepy Santa, where is my gift? I have it right here, my little nightingale. It's a big sack. Oh, it's a leaf. Is, is that... Mistletoe? Oh, OCD addict. To kiss you would be a dream come true. Wow. His large beard flew up into the air and covered my head. Oh, I could feel its facial air on the back of my neck, pulling my lips closer to his. And then I woke up screaming! <laughs> I woke up right after that. 
Stupid dream, teasing me with sleepy Santa kisses. What would a sleepy Santa kiss be like, anyway? Would it be passionate? Quick? Or would he kiss me slowly, taking his time, maybe resting a bit in between each kiss? Oh, there was only one way to find out. I'd have to find a way to kiss him in real life. But first, I had to return to my store. Good morning, Santa. Good morning, Sleep. Hey, where's Sleepy? He slept in this morning, as usual. Aw, I wanted his wonderful face to be the first thing I saw when I walked into the store. You jealous, Sassy? You, my old love, you jealous? I miss you. I miss you, Sassy. I miss you so much. Come back to me. <laughs> Maybe I should plaster a picture of his face on the front doors and all the walls. This, this is concerning. This is very concerning. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Are you really still pining after Sleepy Santa? It's already been like a day. Um, admit the truth. Maybe he'll talk me out of it. I can't stop thinking about him. He's so attractive. You know he has a girlfriend, right? <gasps> Plot twist! A girlfriend? Yeah, that nutty person who was here yesterday? The Krampus lady? No way. No way! Ashley Krampish is dating Sleepy Santa? Oh, now I'm upset. Oh, they're do- oh. This game is taking so many turns that I did not expect it to. Holy cow. My worst nemesis is sleeping with my one true love. No! Oh my gosh! I I thought I whoa! Hi, OCD. Where's the hot guy? Sexy Santa is over there by the scooters. I think he's trying to balance them on his pecs. <coughs> oh, not him. I mean my new boyfriend, the sleepy one. Nuh-uh, no way. S sleepy Santa would never date a, a blonde. Oops, almost got myself on the naughty list again. Oh, silly me. A witch like you. I refuse to believe it. You better believe it, honey. No one can resist my holiday charms. Except you not wanting to sell my store, but that's... So, your story, but whatever. Where did you find him and his gorgeous beard anyway? Um, I don't think you need to know that. None of your business. You should know that if you're dating him. I'm afraid that's a secret. There's a few people, woo. There's a few people firing some fireworks outside and it's getting the dogs a little nervous. So I'm gonna have one of them sit on my lap right here. Maybe she'll feel a little comfortable getting some cuddles, playing a nice game with me. <coughs> Sorry guys, I got like a tickle in my throat all of a sudden. No, that's the other guy. Remember Secret Santa? Come on, spill. Yeah, right. She's never gonna believe that I wished for him on a star. Isn't that such a romantic way for us to meet? He's literally the man of my dreams. Whatever. You're just jealous that the two of us were snuggled up together like two birds of a feather. Look, I'm busy. Why don't you go back to your dumb bleeps and bloops store? I thought we were cussing again. I was like, oh dang. Video games aren't dumb. And anyway, I'm not leaving until I find out when Sleepy Santa's lunch break is. I was going to ask him out to eat. <coughs> How 21st century of you. Oh, um... 12 o'clock? I don't know. I've, I've never had employees before, so I don't really know how scheduling works. I also want to know what his real name is. It's Santa, honey. Real name? You guys are not girlfriend and boyfriend. 
Maybe you went out on a date. That doesn't make you girlfriend and boyfriend. I'm sorry. You know nothing about him. What did he write on his job application? He didn't seriously write down Sleepy Santa. Ha! <laughs> you say that he's your boyfriend, but you don't even know his name. Clearly, this isn't a real relationship. Thank you! Then why did he spend all of last night in my apartment? I don't- Watching those fireplace videos? Duh! I- I don't know, but I'm confident the two of you didn't do anything. Santa would never do that! Oh, he did. He did. And he loved... Every minute of it. Ah. I'm questioning whether I should post this. I just did not know this would go in this direction. Like, let me, let me, let me be real here. Like, I'm like, you all live your lives how you want to live your lives. And I'm not going to pass judgment on it myself. But like, this is not the kind of content I was wanting to post or focus on on my channel. Like, it's not something I want to, um encourage prematurely, you know? And it's up to everyone what that means. I have my own perspective of what that means. You have your own perspective of what that means, but this is this is not what I was expecting out of this game. Oh wow. Crash! Did I duck her over the head with a vase or maybe that giant nutcracker? That sound you heard was just my heart shattering into a thousand pieces. Tears dribbled down my cheeks. Krampus pointed and laughed at me, then took a few selfies with me as I cried. It was like high school prom all over again. Eventually, I stopped crying, and she left. I made a beeline for Sleepy Santa, who had built himself a bunk bed out of toy blocks. That's cool. Is this the ending? Nope. Zzz. Zzz. Sleeping on the job, huh, Sleepy Santa? Hey, I didn't get to bed until real re late last night. <sighs> so drink coffee to help yourself stay awake. Only if I could have milk in it. And cookies. Actually, hold the coffee. <laughs> Sugar for breakfast? No wonder you're so fat. Oh, God. Hey, sweetie girl. Hey, you can't. Fat shape Santa? You should fat shape anyone for that matter. Now that's something that I don't know why I keep looking at my mic when I want to look into the camera. That's something I can stand for. Why are you so upset today? I'll be honest, I'm upset with you. I'm upset with you, Sleepy Santa. Me? I heard about you and Krampish. Who? The woman you, you were, you slept with last night. I said it, I said it. My worst enemy. Oh dear. I can see I'll have to tell you the truth. Is this the ending? I think this is the ending, guys. Ending. I like the music, I think I got the good ending. The truth about you and Krampish? She invited me to her apartment last night, and I fell asleep on the couch after about five minutes. <sighs> Wait, so when she said what she said, it wasn't an innuendo. It- oh, sorry. It wasn't an innuendo, it was literal. She slept in her own bedroom. There wasn't any room for her on the couch with me. I'm kind of a big guy. You probably noticed that. <sighs> I can't believe it. All you did was fall asleep. That's all you ever do. Well, I am Sleepy Santa, and she was being boring. All she talked about was her designer makeup, and Sleepy Santa never uses blush. He has naturally rosy cheeks. I know it was rude of me to ignore her, but I was so tired. So I just settled my brains for a long winter's nap.
I should have known it was all a silly misunderstanding. You'd never fall in love with a Scrooge like Krampish. <laughs> of course not. You see, I... This is hard to say, but I'm in love with you. Your chin. I've never seen one that attractive before. It's so smooth and hairless. Wow, I feel the same way about your big brown beard. It's so gorgeous and wonderful. Can I stroke your chin? I'll let you stroke my beard. It can be wonderfully romantic in a weird way. I have never wanted anything more in my entire life. Wow. The two of us stroked each other's chins, and it was pure heaven. I don't think it's possible to feel anything more pleasurable than a thick curly beard that's as soft as the snow. OCD? Yes, sleepy Santa. Can I take a 10 minute break from work? I need a nap. Only if we can take that nap together, you know, on different couches. Yay. And so it was that sleepy Santa and I both fell asleep in the break room, our hands on each other's chins. The end. That went so many places I was not expecting. Wow, okay, let's get us skip the credits again. We'll probably watch them at the end when I'm like all done with all the endings. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm usually a little runny-nosed, but like even more now that like, uh, I've been yawning all the time. Okay, so. We're just gonna skip to all the choices, and I'm gonna s just do the opposite ones. And that should get me the bad ending, I should think. You're only saying that because you're trying to get away from me. I'm not. I enjoy talking to you, truly. <sighs> then what's your urgent business that's more important than our conversation? Okay, yeah, I read this. Uh, you were pranking the other Santas. How could you? What? No, I wasn't being mean to them. Honest, I never do that. Excuse me. Me neither. See, we have so much in common, Sleepy Santa. It's always nice to. Yeah, I already read that. Skipping. Uh, lie, lie, lie. I wasn't looking at Sleepy Santa because I want to make out with him. I was looking at his hat. I think it's the wrong color. Okay. Yeah. But I'd rather eat a Yule log. I'd rather eat a Yule log. I'd never sell this place, especially not to you. And let's see, she's friends with the mall manager, blah blah blah. Um I tried to reach for his long fuzzy tendril of hair, but uh, what is it? I just so uh, what's the word? Sleepy, maybe? Gosh, I don't know. Is it sleepy? I like sassy. I miss sassy. <sighs> oh, snores. Never mind. Alright. Da, 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 just ignore. Lie. Um, no? Why would I be in love with Emma? That's dumb. I hate hot people. They're so annoying. Uh, he has a girlfriend. I'll tell her the truth. I made a wish on a Christmas star because I'm having some financial troubles, and I was blessed with six cute Santas. Although Sleepy Santa is clearly the cutest of them all. There's no need to make up stupid stories. If you don't want to tell me, just say so. Uh, back to your bleeps and bloops store. I'm upset about prices. Upset about the toy prices. Our distributors are charging way too much. That's not true. With the Santas and I making toys ourselves, that should be a problem for much longer. What's really bothering you? And then the truth. All right, and this is the ending. Oh, bad music. It's the bad music. Krampus told me about how you stole her prom date in high school. She, what? That was a real ho-ho-nom-nom! 
Krampus said she wanted to get revenge by stealing one of your crushes. And I thought, hey, why not give Krampus her Christmas wish? Oof. So yeah, Santa had intimate relations with Krampus. And then I fell asleep, but still. But, but she lied to you. Krampus was the one who stole my prom date. She went out with him for the week before prom and dumped him the day afterwards. Oh, well, that's okay. Santa likes money. <laughs> Santa likes money! <laughs> ugh, ugh! Were you always this gross, Santa? Maybe. Maybe you just couldn't see the truth through this. This luscious beard of mine. Sleepy tossed his beard over his shoulder. It was so mind-numbingly sexy, it pained me. Oh, gosh. No matter how awful you are, I just can't look away. Why are the hot ones always so mean? Well, anyway, I only came here to the store to let you know that I'm quitting my job. <sighs> you, you're what? I'm going to work at Krampus's store instead. Her business actually has a future, after all. There's no future in toys. I... Excuse me? But you know something, OCD? There is one toy in here I had a lot of fun with. Your heart. That's brutal. So long. Enjoy life on the nice list with all the rest of the nerds. Oh my gosh. I started crying again. Sleepy Santa laughed at me and then took a few selfies with me. He posted them online and titled them, What a Huge Baby! Along with the photos Krampus took earlier. They were trending online. Ah! Now I'm a meme! Crying Santa girl! Well, at least now when I finally die alone and friendless, I know a part of me will live on. Being made fun of. Forever. Yay. Uh, that I don't even know what to say. I mean, I guess I'll still post this and just give a warning, a firmer warning. My gosh, I I'm taken aback. Wow, okay. Um let me know which Santa you want me to do next time. Um. I guess bye. 